Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today we've just bought ourselves a new car. But first, let me give you some context. Back in 2010, I started racing in Bilkos. It's a cheap form of rallycross where the cars are almost stuck to keep the prices as low as possible. The first ever Bilkos race in Norway was held in 1981. So it's dating back over 40 years. People used almost regular cars with a roll cage in them and some even drove them home afterwards. At the first race there were more than 5,000 fans watching and it quickly grew to be the largest motorsport in Norway. The cars were cheap, the racing were tight and after each race every car gets raffled off. Through the years Bilkos has stayed mostly the same. Now the value of the cars is 11,000 kroners, so if you come to a race you can buy a ticket for a car, and if you win you get to buy the car for 11,000. This makes the sport really accessible and keeps the costs down. Each event is made up of three or more heats and finals. Each heat features a short three lap race with five to six drivers, where the drivers score points based on their finishing position. From 10 for the winner, 7 for second place, all the way down to one point for last place. After the heats, the drivers with the most points move on to the finals. Depending on the number of event entries, there may be three or more finals in total. I won some local championships and in the end, I really wanted to step up to rallycross, but I didn't have the means. Money, time, I'm not a trained mechanic, so it really never happened and I quit. I did my bachelor, worked at a concert venue, worked as a sound and lighting engineer, I made videos, and I even went on the last season's version of The Voice, because why not? What am I supposed to do without you? Through all these years, I really wanted to come back to racing, and this year it seemed perfect. The national championship is held a weekend in the middle of August, and it changes venue each year, so it's been all over Norway. But this year, it's back at my home track for the first time in 30 years. It's in Vikedal. This is where I spent most of my weekends from when I was 15 to 18, and I actually had some money saved up, so I thought I'd make the jump. So I took all the gear from my video company and I started this channel, More Fast Media, to show you guys how it is racing Bilkos, to make more car content for you to watch and hopefully we can make it a bit easier for anyone to get into racing. To get started we need a racing car, we need some safety equipment because these old ones do not fit anymore and we need some parts and some tools because something is eventually gonna break. So first we'll go to Gunnarsson Motorsport, the main place to get your safety equipment in Oslo and he's gonna help us get everything sorted. Take it away Birgor. Uh, we have a lot of racing stuff. That's why we're here. Yep. So uh, first off I think we're going to need a suit. Well, we have a lot of different suits. What you are look, looking for, I suppose, is uh, the FIA suit. Yeah. So uh, with Sparko, we start with the sprint suit, who is, uh, let's say, a clubman suit. I guess you're looking for not a full face helmet, but uh, yeah. This is probably what you need for full race. It's a FIA helmet with uh, hands anchors. So thank you so much, uh, Birger. Good yeah. luck. Thanks. It's gonna be nice. Yep. Now I have all I need. Now we have the right equipment. Yeah. So if I'm losing now, it's my fault. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank bye. You. Bye bye. Jävligt bra. Tusen tack. Man vinner då. So now we have a new suit. We have a new helmet. We have new shoes. Uh, yeah. I think we have everything we need. So. Let's go get a trailer and then let's go get our car. Five hours later.
This is the magnificent Mazda 323F and we've got the V6 version. Look at this magnificent beast. It's a 24 RAV uh, V6. It's a pretty small uh, engine, but I think it's gonna be quite quick. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to just this. This is actually a, a mega spec car. No frame windows. All the windows are electric. It's got a roll cage. We've got the petrol can as a, <laughs> as a seat. What doesn't it have? What doesn't it have? It's gonna be quite fast, but it's not gonna be the fastest. This means speed. You know, because when you drive Bilkos, you really need downforce. What do you think, Anders? It's gonna be great. Great success. <laughs> great success. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be a good car. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> great car, great success. So this is the track, uh, as you can see it's got the uh, asphalt here and then uh, the gravel parts are really like soaked in something. It's salt. <laughs> I think it's gonna be quite grippy. The start is over here, then you come down to this first turn <laughs> and it's a really long one. You just have to go tight there, then you go wide, then you go tight again. And then comes the joker uh, that you have to take once of one of the three times. And uh, when you join there with the joker, if you hit someone close, I think it's gonna be better to come to the joker. Because I think you'll have more speed. And you have the inside into this turn. We had a lot of trouble getting the seat fitted into the car because the original holes in the side mounts did not line up at all. It was getting dark and we had to wake up at uh, five the next morning to get everything ready and get the car through technical, which we barely got. So this is the second set of new tires. And this car is empty now. That wasn't the best, but it was fun though. I think I came out as number three, and then uh, and then I just didn't, I don't think I could, uh, I didn't have the pace. Uh, I think I just drove slower than the others. They probably know where the road is, so that helps. And then, uh, yeah, the guy behind me was really fast. And up the hill, he was like crashing into my bumper. I just uh, kind of let him pass because uh, we have uh, zero parts. 
so we don't want to break anything. But uh, that's what you get for not going all in, I think. So I think we'll have to push a bit harder in the next one. Because, uh, yeah, I don't like to come last. <laughs> So uh, we're done for the day. We did not get into the finals, but uh, I think it was, a, it was a lot of fun. And in the last, uh, the last hit now, uh, it finally got. I finally felt that I could uh, like send it. So I sent it all over the place, and it's uh, now it's got some battle scars, and it looks like uh, Birko's beer. And yeah, it's nice to end on a high. Uh, and uh, because like after the two first rounds, I was like, is this why I'm doing this? Because it wasn't. It wasn't that fun, <laughs> but uh, now that I felt like I could actually do something, it's much better. So we're going to pack up and see if the car is uh, get the car gets sold, or uh, if we're driving home on an empty trailer, or if we end up with a new car. And uh, I just have to pack uh, all my shit uh, because I have a lot of it. And uh, uh, for now, I uh, have a large lack of uh, system, but uh, I think that will uh, will fix that too. Uh, not today. Thanks.
If you, like me, are a fan of car stuff on YouTube, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Like the video, it means, uh, it really means a lot. Uh, I would be really happy. And then, I'll see you in the next one.